A brief note on research designs that also includes some answers to questions about Bernstein cases and randomized control trials. So we have these different types of research designs that we can identify and we know there are some strengths and weaknesses associated with each of them. Cross-sectional we could consider is like a picture. It's, it's a snapshot. You have a picture of something right now. This picture could entail asking kids about how many hours they've played video games over the last three weeks. So, but it's still a snapshot of what they think right now. It's not actually collecting multiple data points. So just like a picture of cross-sectional and we have longitudinal with like a video camera or having multiple pictures taken, we can see how stuff changes over time, for instance. Um, so you have multiple data points you've asked one month ago about you asked kids about how many hours a week they played video games and now you're asking again today and you can now get the difference you're not just getting the perceived difference of what they think what they did one month one year ten years ago you're getting insight into how their answers actually develop over time the experimental approach is then the the treatment someone gets the treatment the match that is on fire and the other one is not on fire and that leads to different kinds of outcomes and you would then of course have many different ice cubes you would do this on in order to see is this not just a random fluke in some sense you could say that an experiment is always about over time because you start out with two identical groups and then you do something do something different to these two groups and see how that sort of how, what, what happens then after that. But you can even, as in the Bernstein situation, have an experiment that runs over five months and then see how the differences develop over time. Case study is then not just a picture. It's, it, it, it's, it's actually understanding something about a big, a specific case, a specific context. This could be one individual, this could be a company, this could be a group of individuals, a group of people playing video games together, for instance. Um, so a case is, is sort of slightly different and more tricky to define, but it, it just it focuses on the context. It doesn't focus on the, the variance within how a thousand different people answer a survey. It would focus on particular people and their particular answers and why they gave these answers. I should add that a case study can be an experiment as such. We can have an experiment embedded in a case, as in Bernstein. There was a large Chinese factory and different units that either were behind a curtain or not. But you can't run an experiment on one person, on, on, on one sort of single firm then you would have to run it on people lots of people within the firm it has to be something you can compare to and if you only have one individual you can't in terms of how for instance to address if there are multiple research designs are there then actually two different studies we should assess differently um or separately and and i would say no i mean you an overall research study can consist of different research designs and you can then first identify well i think it's a field experiment first and foremost but it has longitudinal elements and it's actually also trying to understand a particular case but and then that's it. the important point here is when you then assess the quality of the research design you shouldn't consider them in isolation yes there are some weaknesses related to the field experiments approach to answering whether something has an effect or not we don't really get insight into why it has an effect this then the case-based interview approach could do and, and you have to assess the overall research study the, um, that Bernstein carried out you have to combine these two things and, and you shouldn't solely consider it in isolation you can of course say the weaknesses of one thing one approach can then be alleviated can be sort of um can be corrected so to speak by by the qualities of for instance here the, the case-based interview approach so consider it sort of from an one overall there's sort of one overall perspective of what's the strengths and the weakness of bernstein's study 
identify that there are multiple research designs in play and then make that lead into an overall answer to the strengths and the weaknesses of the study that Bernstein carried out.